coffee. I'll get you this ready. I don't understand why Sister didn't come home. We told you. But why didn't you see me first? He's in why bad shape. Go? He's in bad shape, Felicia. He's avoiding me. I'm just stunned by the fact that he hasn't come home at all. So am I. It's ridiculous. I mean, in light of everything that's happened, why would he act so reckless? Yeah, and it's for more than one reason, too. What do you mean by that? We know he's innocent, but this disappearing act that he's been pulling is not going to go over so good with some people. You mean after what happened at the Bucket of Blood? Right. Well, did he tell you anything? No, we didn't get into it. Jake, you've been very quiet through all of this. What did Frisco tell you what happened? Yeah, I heard his story. But what is there to explain? He was drunk that night. He didn't make a fool of himself on TV. Everybody saw it. Wait a minute, Jay. Well, Tony, I have to deal with the way it is. Please try to understand that. Uh, look, the call is almost ready. Can we all just kind of hang loose for a while? Well, thanks. What I don't understand is your attitude toward Frisco. I am a lawyer, Tony. I am not his brother. Different things go through my mind. I would love to share that with all of you, but you jump down my throat every time I try to be realistic. What is realistic about arresting him? It's crazy. But he was arrested, Tony. That is a fact. And his car was identified at the scene of the crime. That is a fact. And we all know he was very drunk at the bucket of blood only moments before Yank's brother was killed. That is a fact. I cannot deal with it's crazy, Tony. I have to deal with facts. He gave you an explanation. You yes, know his side of the story. Yes, he told me his side of the story. And it's so flimsy that the prosecution can tear it down in a matter of five well, minutes. Well, maybe he needs a different lawyer. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just listen to us. We're tearing our friendships apart. This is She's crazy. right. I'm seeing this everywhere. You ought to see the way Yang looked at me when I left the police station with Jay. Robert's going to find out the truth. He's going to find out who really killed Josh and who really killed Dave. All right, I'm getting additional private protection for Robin in the house. Good. Robert, what's going down? I wish I could tell you at the moment. When I can, I will. All right, I understand. How about Frisco? How does he figure into all this? I can't allow him to stay on our team any longer. You really think that he's guilty of that hit-and-run accident? I've seen the evidence against him. Even so. Look, you were right here with me the night we saw that business at the bucket of blood. I mean, the guy was drunk. Oh, well, but maybe it was a mistake. I mean, it could have been like a publicity stunt or something. No. No. I looked into it. It was no stunt. I just find it so hard to believe. I keep thinking about the fact that he was instrumental in helping us recover that treasure. Forget it. Oh, come on, Robert. Look, say he, he was drunk, but you know how upset he was about Josh's murder. All right, is that any excuse to cause the death of another human? I'd like to speak to him. Is he still in jail? No, he's... Um... He's out on bail. But me? I'm... I have to wash my hands of him. But I can't do that. At least not until I've had a chance to speak with him personally. Uh, perhaps he's back at the Brownstone. I should get back to him myself. Yeah. Uh, listen, um, have someone, uh, look at your head. Thank you, doctor. I'll do uh, that. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I... Keep forgetting you're medically qualified and all of that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, uh, I will check with you first thing in the morning, and thanks for the help. You let me know if I can help again. You're right. Good night, Anna. Good night. Oh. Robert, Shh. come on, what do you want? How can you be so unfeeling about Frisco? Sit down. But I will sit down. down. Frisco knows I'm telling you this. There's only three of us involved. You, me, and him. He's going undercover, and he may have to jump bail. Oh, does he realize how that's going to appear to people? Yeah, but he's determined. And you told him about the dangers? Yeah. I'm putting in a call to Ramsey. 
I want him to arrange a meeting with Wu. The gloves are off, Anna. They certainly are. I'm going after Wu. I'll go see my grandfather. You dread it, don't you? Yeah, because I know how much he he loved Tay. He used to talk about how he loved us equally. So I that's how I know how much he loved my little brother. Oh, it's Felicia. Can I join you? Please, do. Yeah. Is it all right with you, Yank? Yes, you didn't kill my brother. Neither did Frisco. And I know you're having trouble believing that right now, but I know Frisco better than you do. I'm sorry you're involved, Felicia. We're all involved. So what are you doing alone in this part of town at this hour? Couldn't sit around the brownstone doing nothing, so I came to look for Frisco. Well, I don't think you'll find him near me. If you're leaving on account of me, don't. I'll go. No, it's, I just want to be alone. I feel I can handle being alone right now. There's no sense to things that happen. I know that, and that's something I've got to face, too. What I've worked out in my mind is that whatever happened to Tay was an accident, but whatever he was running from, well, that was no accident. Good night, Tay, and... Ah, uh, you'll never know how good you've been to me today. Well, I hope you know I care. Yeah, I know that. And, uh... When I can separate you from Frisco, I'll know how good you've been to me, too. Good if I can find Frisco, I can straighten all of this out. It might not be as easy as you think. I know what people are saying. And I know what people think after seeing this television show. But that is all just circumstantial? Yes. Well... Why didn't Frisco come home after he got out on bail? Well, I'm not sure. But I'm almost positive he's somewhere in the Asian Quarter. And the trouble is, if he is hiding there, that's going to make things a lot worse for him. It is very easy to hide in this part of town. Yes, I'm, I'm looking for him, and he doesn't want to see me, so that's going to make it very difficult for me to find him. I have an idea. What? Well, my brother Kim knows every inch of the Asian Quarter, and he has contacts everywhere. Are you saying that he'll help me find him? If I ask him, I'm sure he'll try. I guess I'd appreciate that. I'm going to see if Robert Scorpio can help me find him, too. Mm -hmm. Robin is late? Oh, yes. She never stirred when I switched the light out. She didn't even want her bedtime story. Yeah. Mind you, I don't think any story to top the one that she went through today. All right, let me tell you what's happened so far. Ramsey put in a call to Wu's office, was politely told that Wu is out of town. I don't believe that. Neither do I. What could he possibly want that's in, that's in two jade Buddhas? I mean, a man has power, he has money. Why risk it all for an attack on a police commissioner's child? He's got everything in the world. I don't know what he could possibly want. And what does he think we have in our possession? I'm going to get him, Anna. I'm going to bloody well get him if it's the last thing I do. Oh. Stay driven, Robert. It kind of frightens me. That's our daughter up there. Our child. Yeah. But she couldn't be in better hands. Her father's. 